I thought I'd do a short video on cutting a rabbit across the grain using a hand plane. To make it as difficult as I could, I've got some bone dry hickory here, which is one of the worst woods for tear out. And I'm going to be using a Stanley 78 rabbit plane, a Stanley 93 shoulder plane, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the use of the spur on the 78. Stay tuned. So first of all, I'm going to do it across the grain using the Stanley 78, but not using the spur, just to emphasize and to illustrate how important the spur is when you're cutting across the grain. So as I'm uh, just applying this Stanley 78 to the end of this board, I've got the depth stop set, I've got a fence set on it, and I'm just uh, cutting in a, a shallow rabbit in the end grain of this board and you can already see right away that there's nothing much worse than uh, using this dry hickory for an illustration like this. It's almost uh, comical how much tear out there is. Uh, this looks like the end of a broom instead of a piece of wood and it definitely illustrates very clearly that the spur is a very much needed accessory to the Stanley 78 if you're using it without a fence or without scribing a line, which we'll look at in a moment. The next thing I'm going to do is use the Stanley 78, only I'm going to use it with the spur. You can see that only one of these three has been sharpened on this plane, and it's good to keep that super sharp. If anything, I think mine's sticking out a little bit too far and it probably could use some more sharpening and maybe being a little bit shorter. But you're going to see just the addition of this little spur. Because it goes before the blade, it's basically scribing a line in the end grain of the wood before it reaches the blade. And you'll see as I'm running this along this board now with the spur down, you get a very clean rabbit cut across the grain because the spur is acting like a knife cutting the ends of those grains and you can see you get a very crisp line. The next thing I'm going to do is show the idea of cutting across the grain but using a knife to scribe the end grain. And I've got this uh, single bevel knife so you can push it flat against a fence and I'm going to use these two planes with no spur but having scribed with a knife and using a fence to guide, first of all, the knife, and then secondly, the plane. And you're going to see with no spur, but with just simply a scribed line, again, with this single-sided knife, it allows you to press it hard against the fence. Uh, I'm saying fence. I'm just saying clamp a board where you want the edge of that uh, rabbit to be and then because these are flat sided planes here's the 93 if I press this up against the fence as I cut this rabbit even though there's no spur on the plane the scribed line from the knife basically has acted like the spur cutting the first few layers of grain and certainly the pressure of the clamped fence also helps to hold that grain intact. And you'll see that you can get a very clean across the grain rabbit uh, using a fence and a Stanley 93 or a Stanley 78 with no spur, uh, no fence just no built-in fence, but just using a, a clamped fence. And uh, maybe I've, I'm making too many passes now. I think I've already illustrated the fact. I'll be pulling this clamp off here in a minute. And you'll see that I get a super clean line. I actually think this method works great. Again, you don't need a spur on the plane because the fence does the job of guiding the 
plane and the knife cut does the job of scoring the end grain. You can also do this with a super sharp saw if you're careful to saw a straight line. But uh, this fourth try will be the same idea, a clamped fence, only actually using the Stanley 78, just pulling the uh, depth stop off of it, pulling the fence stop off of it, and just using the flat-sided nature of the plane. Uh, it's very much just like the 93. It has a flat side that you can then run against this wooden fence just as I did the shoulder plane and the, the 78 works just as well. Uh, it's a very square plane body. You press it up against that uh, fence and uh, apply a little pressure both downward and to the right against the fence. And you'll see here in a minute as I pull this clamp off and pull this fence off, you get a very clean line just like you got with the shoulder plane. So basically I'm showing three ways here to get a clean across the grain rabbit. One would be to use the Stanley 78 with the built-in spur. The next would be to use a fence and then you could use the Stanley 78 or a 93 shoulder plane. And so here's sort of a before and after uh, with a scribed line or without a scribed line. Again, uh, Mainly, the Stanley 78, with that great little spur, if you've got it nice and sharp, is a wonderful tool for both with the grain and across the grain rabbiting. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.